Kaya Wanji, Nanjurvan, Rydia's, Yunga Mert, as we longing, as we jinning, Al Yunga Buja. I think at its most fundamental, it obviously is really important in enabling us to understand and protect cultural heritage values um, with a project like ours. The approach we've taken is, has, I think, really allowed ongoing and continuous engagement and also participation of traditional owners in the project. You know, when we do a welcome, we want everything to go well with everyone coming on country, clearing the way, you know, we're smelling, we're touching, we're seeing, and we reconnect ourselves. Some of us work in the city, some of us come from all over the state, you know? And then coming back on country is that healing time, is that reconnecting. Yeah, we're just gonna talk to the the spirit the ancestors. That's from where they will um, give us the okay to proceed further into the ground and the areas here and anything that's around. We don't want to um, follow the continue to go in there until they've been welcomed by the ancestors of this country to show our respect to our ancestors. So um, it's not only to welcome you there, but to protect you guys also. Been very transparent about what we do because we have traditional owners, you know, at the moment involved in every aspect of our exploration program in terms of the cultural heritage monitoring. Facilitates our understanding of the cultural values in an area. I think it also facilitates the understanding of traditional owners of what we're doing and what we're trying to achieve as well. And because these projects happen over time and the monitoring process occurs over time, you know, it really enables both parties to build some trust and I think a really um, meaningful relationship that with time will result in mutual benefit. Mm -hmm.